Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we'll be looking at more prayers of the faith, and this time, a prayer to St. Joseph. Because the saints are in heaven and are therefore closer to God than we are, it makes sense for us to ask them to pray for us, or ask God for some special graces for us. We have prayers for many saints, and there are a number of different prayers to St. Joseph. We're just going to be looking at one of them today. This is a very old prayer, possibly going back to the first century A.D. O oh, St. Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, on earth, St. Joseph protected Jesus from harm by taking him to Egypt to save him from Herod and raising him well. In heaven, Jesus as king offers great protection to Joseph and to those who request protection from him. I place in you all my interests and desires. The word interest means not just things I'm interested in, but also profits gained from some investment. As we hope for our interests and desires to be granted by God in heaven, we also entrust them to St. Joseph, so that he can make requests for us before God. We hope to profit in heaven from our investment of time and effort here on earth, through the grace of God. O St. Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession, and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord. We ask St. Joseph to request all sorts of blessings from Jesus on our behalf, and acknowledge that Jesus is our Lord, no one else. So that having engaged here below your heavenly power, we request that the power of heaven will be used to help protect us so that we can reach heaven one day. I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers, so that one day we can thank God personally for all the good things he's given us and praise him properly in heaven. O oh, St. Joseph, I never weary of contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. Thinking about the life of Jesus and even his childhood is fascinating rather than exhausting. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. We acknowledge what a good protector St. Joseph is, how well he protected Jesus as a baby. Reposes near your heart refers to Jesus as a baby being held close to Joseph's chest in his arms. Press him in my name. Please implore Jesus to provide the blessings I ask for, and kiss his fine head for me, and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Kisses between men in this context were much more common as a symbol of platonic affection in older cultures. Asking Jesus to return the kiss to us is the same as asking him to show us affection when we die, accepting us as his own. St. Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for us. Amen. St. Joseph is the patron saint of many things, including husbands, families, a peaceful death, and yes, departing souls. Part of this may be because, according to Catholic tradition, Joseph died before Jesus did, and both Jesus and Mary were present, the best of all company for his passing. We refer to this so that we can receive the grace to also die at peace with God, meaning not in a state of mortal sin, and be welcomed into his eternal peace. So, this is a prayer requesting that Joseph intercede for us in order to obtain protection and blessings for us from Jesus. Next time, a prayer to St. Thomas Aquinas. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.